Hello, it is. What kind of a hello was that? It is 6.19 in the morning and I'm heading to Geneva today. Very early because I was meant to go yesterday. That did not happen. So now I am leaving very, very early because I have a three o'clock meeting in Geneva I need to get to and we're gonna drive. I thought I'd film it. My parents Panamera GTS. Um, I'll explain why in a little bit, but let me just get in, put my snacks in, try not to wake the neighbors up. Okay, legends, we are in the car. Now, why are we taking this Panamera and why are we going to Geneva? So, why are we taking this Panamera? As I said at the beginning of the video, this is not my car. This is uh, my parents' car, and they use it in Geneva when they're there. And occasionally they will use it to drive down to La Turbie here, France, like not far from Monaco, uh, the house where I grew up, and spend a few weeks there. And that's what they did recently. And they drove this car down with them. And so when they're down here, they'll use this car, but also we have an old Mercedes C220 diesel. Now the old school viewers will know that car really well. And usually we'll leave that car um, in France here and kind of have it it's you know it's what 15 years old something like that so we're a bit worried about doing long distances with it just because you know it's an older car you don't want anything to go wrong it's a manual so it's not quite as cozy to do these drives in so usually my parents will use this car to do those drives now what happened is as they were planning on driving this car back to Geneva as they got into the car it turns out it had a puncture so that wasn't possible. So they took the Mercedes up to Geneva and now it is there. And that is not usually the way, you know, we would choose to have things. Usually the Mercedes would be down here just in case someone needs it. And then this, the comfortable car, which they, they would use all the time, would be with them up in Geneva. So when I recently found out I needed to go to Geneva, and I think I'll talk about this in a vlog or an Instagram story or something. I need to go for a couple doctor's appointments, nothing particularly urgent before uh, any of you get worried or anything, but I'll talk about it at some point. Um, I need to go to Geneva for that. I was like, you know what? Why don't we reinstate normality amongst the cars and uh, put the Panamera back in Geneva and then I'll drive the Mercedes back down. So that is the plan. That is why I'm driving this car. And that's why I figured, you know what? Might as well share this with the people in the vlog. Now I'm gonna just switch through a few of the menus here. This is what I'm gonna be keeping my eye on most of the time is the tire pressures. Just in case the tires decide to go a little bit funky on me. Now, this car is great for long road trips. Super comfortable, super quiet, great sound system. And I've got over 700 kilometers on this tank. It says I filled up last night. So hopefully I should actually get all the way to Geneva without having to fill up. That's kind of today's mission. Uh, it's automatic. It's over 400 horsepower, V8, naturally aspirated and just overall a great car for this kind of road trip. So yeah, we got six hours ahead of us guys. It is yeah 6.44 a.m. And so we should be there not too late. And yeah, I'll kind of keep you guys posted as we go. I just figured this would be something a little bit different to film for you guys. So that is exactly what we're gonna be doing today. Now then, I'm gonna put a podcast on and get on the drive. I don't know if you guys have like a favorite driving hour um, for this kind of road trip, but for me, it's like this. It's early in the morning. I don't know if you'll be able to see now, but the sun's just coming up. It's the most beautiful sunrise. And uh, I just love it because look, there's not really many people on the road. We've got a few roadworks now, but there's hardly anyone on the road. You're, you just woke up, so your body's like well rested, so you don't feel tired. You can enjoy the drive properly. It's absolutely gorgeous watching the sunrise. It's just something I think, there's something magical about this. I either like night driving, again, because there aren't too many people on the road, or these kind of like early morning drives. I mean, look, look in the distance, look at that. How beautiful is that? Oh, I absolutely love this. Anyways, it's still only like 10 past seven. We've got plenty of time to go. We're driving up towards Turin in Italy, and then we kind of swing a left, we'll go up all the way to Geneva. Okay. Yeah, it's time for the first stop. It's uh, 8.15, so we've been on the road for like an hour and a half, something like that. And it is time, <laughs> yeah, I need a coffee. 
I need a coffee now, so I think we're gonna put over. Auto grill. Let's do this. Since when has it gotten cold again? Is it, have you guys noticed this as well? All of a sudden, it's like 12 degrees. That right, guy just nearly reversed into me. Stop. One. First toll. How expensive is this gonna be, do we reckon? Cash, card, card. Uh, 54. Buen cumpleaños. Joyeux Noel. I also really want to use this trip to kind of like share with you guys uh, what, how much it costs to do a drive like this. So it was about 130 euros to fill the car up yesterday. First toll, 54 euros. There's going to be the tunnel. It's much more expensive than flying. Flying is about, say, 50 euros. It costs about 150 euros with taxis, everything to go to and from uh, Geneva. So yeah, it's a lot cheaper to fly, but you can't bring as much stuff. Uh, you know, you, you can take four people when you're driving. Uh, and also it's just so much more convenient. Like for example, like my parents, when they come up and down for a few weeks, they'll take so much stuff with them. So you don't have to pay for the extra luggage. Uh, you can stop in Italy, do your food shopping where the food's a lot cheaper and a lot better. They always buy like massive things of olive oil, which you wouldn't be able to take with you. Why am I telling you guys about my parents' olive oil? No clue. Here, I, oh, let me spin the camera. It is beautiful around me right now. Look at this. We're truly entering the Alps now. Beautiful mountains around us. Hopefully we won't get any snow. Uh, it doesn't look like there will be any for now, but this car is beautiful for this country. The passenger seats become a bit of a war zone of food, water, and clothes. Um, but yeah, I mean, we've got 10 liters per 100 kilometers fuel consumption so far, about half a tank down, three hours and 50 minutes in. But beautiful drive, great Bose sound system in this car. And I'm just cruising and loving it. To be honest, I feel like I could, I'm, you know, a quarter of the way, I could keep going for hours. And having a car like this, I mean, doing this in the Ferrari, I would be out for the count by now. But doing it in a comfy car like this, it's so nice. Merci beaucoup, au revoir. For your safety, the tunnel is equipped with a video surveillance system. Benvenuti al traforo del Monte Bianco. Right, I'm out of the Mont Blanc tunnel, which I believe is one of the ton longest tunnels in the world. Uh, 22 kilometers, I think. Is it 22 or 11? It's one, one or the other. Sorry, this is a weird angle. I am aware of it. Wait, wait, wait. I'm back. Hello. It, it's so zombifying that tunnel. Like 20 or oh, however long it is, straight line with the tunnel lights and tents. 47 euros. So let's add that to the tally of the cost of uh, of this trip so far. 54 for the first toll, 47 to go through the tunnel on a one-way ticket. Lovely! Can you tell I'm going insane in the car? It's been four hours, 26 minutes. We're nearly there. Look at these views. There's mountains all around us. I mean, obviously we just went through Mont Blanc, which is the tallest mountain in Europe, I believe. Absolutely stunning and no snow on the road, which is positive for us today. What a beautiful day for a road trip. But look at this, look at this, ready? Look, 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 it's about to poke by. How beautiful is that? So guys, I just wanted to show you quickly what makes this car so good for a road trip is this down here that I've just been pressing. It's the um, adaptive cruise control on the car. So I don't know if you can see here, that little orange 128, if I put it up to 130, which is the speed limit here, that is adaptive cruise control. So basically, it'll hold me at 130, but as soon as we get behind a car in front, which is going slower than that, the car will automatically brake for me. And then when it's cleared and there's no car in front, it'll accelerate back up. And it just makes a drive like this so easy, so relaxing because I don't, you know, I'm not the one braking and accelerating. Obviously, you're fully aware of what's going on because I personally, I'm not never 100% sure on how much I can trust these systems, but it does make a drive relaxing because, you know, I'm steering and look, for example, we're coming up behind a bus here. I'm in the slow lane doing 130 and then the closer we get, you set the distance to how close you want it to come to the, to the vehicle in front. So 128, 125, see, we go down to the speed of the bus. No problem. So all of a sudden I decided, you know what? It feels like it's safe to overtake. Indicator on, 
into the fast lane and boom all of a sudden the car will accelerate back up again back up to 130 and this one does it quite gently quite nicely in a way which is quite fuel efficient as well um, well our average has gone down to 9.9 .9 liters per 100 kilometers now and yeah so anyways just really really cool system which a lot of cars have but it does it really well in this portion so in case you guys haven't seen it before i wanted to share that with you and again and we made it geneva five hours 33 of driving 551 kilometers 9.9 .9 liters per 100 kilometers and 101 kilometer average speed boom done feel fresh feel good thank you for watching this video completely different don't know if it was enjoyable for you guys or not little road trip bring you along hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you again very soon cheers guys bye bye